Rachel Lowther and I teach kindergarten at Asbury Elementary. My name is Tony Patrone. I work at Asbury Elementary and I teach kindergarten. Um, so today we were supatizing and deciding greater or less than with some objects. So the students would roll the dice and we had two different kinds of dice. We had the ones with dots on it and then we had the ones with numbers and then they would find how many on each dice that they rolled, put that many bears on their side of the page and then they would write that many on there and decide who had greater, who had less. Three, zero, two. Um, in my class, we just worked on what's called fact fluency. It's called subitizing, where the students are flashed a 10 frame filled with dots and they have to try to figure out as fast as they can how many dots are in the 10 frame without counting. Um, at this age, it gives them a sense of um, number identification. Um, they're learning to look at a group of objects, whether it be dots or bears or cars, and knowing how many there are without having to stop and take the time to count up to 10. They can just look and see that there's 10, and then they can count on from there. Um, being able to see numbers in different ways, so seeing it in the numerical form, seeing it with dots, and making the connection of one-to-one -one correspondence of putting on that many for each number. This is a new concept for them, but we've been working slowly and working our way up to counting groups of 10. We started with one dot and talking about it in a 10 frame and where it is, up to five dots at the top, and then you add another group of five, it becomes 10. And eventually after seeing them over and over in mixed order, um, they're able to figure out how many are in a group without counting individually each dot. Um, this is just a very nice hands-on activity to accelerate that learning and put two and two together with the supatizing and the greater than or less than in one lesson. I'd like them to know that this is a concept that is new to them and it's only been 55 days of school and they've already figured out how to identify 10 dots, 9 dots, 8 dots, 7 in mixed order um, in 55 days. And that is a huge accomplishment to, to them and their hard work. Um, a lot of times in the past, some students can get to five, but six, seven, eight, nine are really tricky. Supatizing is important so that the students can see numbers in many different ways. Um, just seeing them in one way, they're only going to know that that's the number two when they see the numerical form. But are they really going to know the quantity of two by just seeing the number? Probably not. So it's super important for them to have the ability to subitize and they understand the true meaning of each number.